Ready, set, go. Oh, what's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of a Tech once again, and today we have a little bit of a vlog. We're going to be headed to into town, actually, to a liquor store that has a coin cloud ATM, and we're going to be getting cash out from the coin cloud ATM to purchase some champagne for tonight's NFT sale. That's so, right. That's right. Pay a lot of money, you know, boys. <laughs> Pay a lot of money, you know, boys. We'll see you in a second. We're going to get on the road. All right. Dash. Three. What, buddy? Three, huh? two, I'm going to talk first. Oh. Three, two, one, go. Hello, up, sons. Don't forget that you get a lot of money. Don't forget to get a lot of money. We're gonna go get a lot of money out of Specs, wine, spirits, and finer foods out of the Coin Cloud ATM. Let's yeah. go check it out and see how it works. Today's sponsor is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creatives and curious people alike on topics including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and even cryptocurrency. As a content creator and cryptocurrency enthusiast, Skillshare offers me the tools to sharpen my videography skills with classes like Video on a Budget, Prepare for Your Shoot Without Breaking the Bank, and Accounting 101, Accounting Rules for Crypto and Bitcoin. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. And it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free premium trial so you can explore your creativity. It says insert cash. It doesn't look like you can get cash out. Ooh, look, Bitcoin's at 44 it says. Oh, you're I accept. Money. Okay. We got to get a verification number in here. And we want to sell bitcoins. You can start a sell order on the machine or remotely via the website. We'll do it on the machine. And how much, how much money do we want? 100. 100. We're going to be using the crypto.com app, I think, here to send some Bitcoin. We have five minutes to send it to this scan here. Let's see if we can get a signal, hopefully. There we go. So we're gonna hit the Bitcoin right here. And we're gonna say transfer. Had a rig go offline, that's no good. We're gonna hit withdraw, external wallet. We're gonna add a wallet. Wallet address. We're gonna hit this scan and scan it. We'll name this coin was this coin cloud specs NV and then we need to enter our 2FA and we've added it and we have to open our email and verify our email here there's the withdrawal registration confirmation open our app and now we have it so we're going to hit the withdraw BTC and we are going to send exactly 0 .0 0 0.00227 wait 2765 Nine six. Does that look correct? 
and hit withdraw. It says we have to do a minimum of 0.3. So we need to cancel this, unfortunately. We have to withdraw more than 100. So we're gonna go in because crypto.com makes us do more than 100. So we're gonna go back in here. There we go. That's no good word. Okay. Get our verification code in. Let's sell some bitcoins. We're gonna do it on here. The 114, so we'll do 120. Oops. Exact amount, so it has to be 100 or 200, so we're gonna do 200. We're gonna transfer out, withdraw, external wallet. We're gonna check the wallet number. It's different, so we have to add a wallet again. So we're gonna hit add wallet, wallet address and scan. Continue, get our 2FA. Then we'll have to confirm our email. Open the app. And we're going to withdraw. And we're going to withdraw this exact amount. 00551717. And withdraw. And confirm. We have to do our authy again. Our withdrawal has been submitted. And we just are waiting for it to confirm on the chain. I think this machine is super behind because I'm showing a Bitcoin price of 38,775 and on its main screen it was showing 44,000. So hopefully we didn't lose $200 and the machine works, but we'll have to see. In the corner it says. So up here it has updated it's saying 36,000 on there let's see so on our bitcoin balance we still have a pending withdrawal still pending it says we have two minutes so hopefully it will go through within two minutes and this is why they say bitcoin is too slow transaction to the address has been detected are you using the coin cloud mobile link, mobile app click the link in your receipt to download you receive an sms once the transaction is verified please return to the machine at this time so it says my sell order was unable to complete Let's check and see which one it is. The amount received. Oh, uh, you may choose to request a refund or continue with the order. So we can adjust the order. Please confirm that you agree to based on the sold. You will not be able to change your decision once confirmed. So cancel, we'll go, have to go ahead and do the adjusted order would be that much. So refund, I agree and we'll refund. I needed your help to type in the right number apparently because it wasn't, oh, because it added the transaction fee, dang. All right, so we're on to attempt number three here. So the order status is basically what we're waiting on for that one, which we'll have to return. And then once it's returned, we can come back. <laughs> All right, so we'll come back once it's confirmed. All righty, so attempt number three, we're gonna get in here and do BTM and we're going to enter the amount which will need to be the 200 and proceed
Then we're going to hit the transfer and withdraw, external wallet and add. Scan in, test, we'll have to enter our Authy, and then open our email again, confirm the wallet with request, and then back out, come back in, there it is, so we're going to hit the withdraw, and it says to send exactly 0. 0.00. Five five three four, and then last time there was an additional cost, so we will just make this. Let's see what it says after. So I think it will be five nine three four. We're going to hit the withdraw and hit the offy again and continue, and then we have four minutes and we're waiting on that request now. So it is pending. So the fee was 0 .0004 and it's sending 0 .005534. So right there it's sending the exact amount we need. So at this point we'll just wait and then hopefully get our cash. Keep all the phones alive. 53 seconds. Confirm in three. Come on, confirm. We made the withdrawal. No! The refund worked, which is great. But it doesn't look like we're actually going to get this sent through. 3NDTPUWP, 16 seconds. No! Seven, six, five, four. We should have used Litecoin. You receive an SMS once the transaction is verified. So we're just going to wait until you get a message and then we will come back to the machine. It says we can get the monies now. And redeem. Where's it coming? Two Benjamins. There you go. It's only confusing and took three times, but we did it. We got cash out. Let's go get a bottle of champagne. Alrighty, boys. So let's calculate how much money we wasted getting $200 cash out of Coin Cloud. So the first transaction we messed up, excuse me, buddy. The first transaction we messed up and they did refund. So at least the refund process was easy. We had sent 0 0.00551717. And in return, when they refunded it, we only got 0 0.0050 back. So we are out 0 0.0005 Bitcoin in that transaction, unfortunately. And then on the completed transaction, we had to send 0 0.0059 to get 0 0.0054 sent to the machine, which that one was successful. So total we're out 0 0.0009. And if we calculate that out on, of course, just what the current Bitcoin price is, that means we spent $34.50 to get $200 out. And that's not very great. If we would have done it the first time exactly correct, we would have been down about $15 or about $17 in fees. So a better way to do that really is just using the crypto.com crypto card and just loading up your card to reduce fees. And that is how I would prefer, of course, because you can use cards here and you can use the crypto.com card to pull cash out from a regular ATM. So there's our example with Coin Cloud and how it functions. If you need to get cash, you can do it that way. It is nice that you can use a wallet that you control the keys to as well, which is super relevant. So thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. And I'll see you next Tuesday. Me too.
It's a lot of money. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to see more. Also, you can check out this playlist for more content talking about cryptocurrency.